drinking buddies. We got a great flight in front of us. We got four excellent finished bourbons and we're gonna figure out which of them is the best. I'm your drinking buddy. <sighs> finished bourbon, what does that mean? For those of you new to whiskey, you might not know that sometimes they take a whiskey that's already been made in a barrel and they take it out of that barrel and put it in a different barrel so that it can pick up some different flavors. So these two, the Woodenville and the Angel's Envy here, um, they're bourbons that are made in the traditional way of making bourbon in a charred new, new oak barrel. And then they're taken out of that charred new oak barrel and put in a barrel that used to hold port wine. Um, so these should have a little bit of a uh, sweet wine flavor going on on the finish um, and just be great bourbons. Uh, I love both of these, but the Woodenville, I do believe, is going to be superior to the Angel's Envy. I'm going to try to put these in order. Um, my favorite to least favorite. All four of them I love, so I'm not going to be, you know, trashing any of these bottles. They're all good. The Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, so that's going to be a standard bourbon aged in charred new, new oak. And they take it out of that barrel and put it in another toasted oak barrel. Um, unfortunately, I think that's this one because of the darker color, but maybe I'm wrong. Um, and then last up, we have uh, Amador. And this is gonna be a weeded bourbon that's finished in Chardonnay casks. And I should be able to pick this one out like a sore thumb because if you watch my recent short where I reviewed this, I feel like it tastes exactly like cookie dough. It's got a really dessert quality going on. Um, chocolate chip cookies is what it tastes like to me. So um, let's get into it. First up, we have the first one. Smells uh, sweet like honey. Maybe a little uh, floral. Mmm. Mm. Um, so I get a little bit of baking spice. I get a little sweetness on the finish that tells me that um, it's like a like a red wine sweetness. I believe this is either the Angel's Envy or the Woodenville. Yeah, it's got a um, it's got a sweet whiny thing going on in the uh, finish. Whiny. I don't believe that's a word, but solid bourbon. Let's go to the second one. Uh, I have a little bit of coffee here. I'm going to try to cleanse my my palate a little bit in between. Smelling coffee can help reset your um, scent, sense of smell. Um, I don't know if this is 100% true or not, but I, I've always been told that. So coffee can help reset your sense of smell. So this has got sweet nose that kind of reminds me of brown sugar. Yeah, brown sugary nose. This is another one of the port finished. Um, this is either gonna be the Woodenville or the Angel's Envy. I'm actually not too sure which one of these I prefer right now, and I thought that I would really prefer the Woodenville, and neither one of these is really standing out to me as being much better than the other one. I really like them both, but I'm pretty sure these are the two port finished bourbons. Let's try number three. Oh yeah, it's got a really citrusy nose, like lemon zest. Mm. <laughs> Found the Amador. <laughs> this has got vanilla, caramel, um, chocolate, and a little bit of a flour thing going on. Um, like flour that you cook with, not flowers that you smell because they smell good. Uh, tastes like, uh, like flour a little bit. This one to me, when you add all those flavors together, it's raw cookie dough. Just tastes like raw cookie dough. Sometimes when I'm watching people taste whiskey on YouTube, I hear them make a comparison to something like cookie dough. And I'm like, wow, they're full of crap. There's no way that tastes like cookie dough. No, well, you're gonna have to try this one and tell me I'm wrong, but this to me is straight cookie dough. Cookie dough. All right, last up. 
by process elimination and by color. Unfortunately, I believe I know what this is. I believe it's the Elijah Craig. Mm. <laughs> it's just really good. It's got a lot of character to it. It tastes like a really old bourbon because the extra process of toasting it or putting it in a new toasted barrel to finish it, uh, very similar to that Woodford double oak where you get just those older bourbon character, um, but in a much younger product. And they really toast the heck out of this barrel uh, for the second time through. And it really just gives it wood, oak, char, are the, the most common flavors. Then you get the vanilla and the cinnamon. Um, this is just a really quality bourbon. I love all of these, but I think I'm going to go through them one more time and then we'll give them a ranking. I'll go backwards through. Four. Which is our Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. Very, very good. Three. Which is our Amador. Very, very good. Not 100% sure that that's the correct answers, but I'm sure because I can tell by the taste. <laughs> and then these two that I can't quite figure out which is which. So after going back through, I believe this is the Woodenville and I believe this is the Angel's Envy. I'm basing it off of the proof. This is 90 proof and this is 86.6. Yeah, 86.6. This has got a little lighter flavor on the proof side. And this one's got just a little bit more character going on. There's just a little bit more baking spice on here and a little bit more of that Cabernet or, or uh, uh, port, whatever red wine you're thinking of, uh, sweetness off the end. I think I'm gonna do the ranking backwards. So number four was my number one, number three was my number two, yeah, and number three, or wait, number two was my number three, and number one was my number four. Uh, to clarify my guesses, this is Elijah Craig, this is Amador, this is Woodenville, and this is Angel's Envy. Well, let's find out if I'm right. So number one. Okay, I am totally wrong, and I'm totally full of crap. Number one, or number four, actually happened to be the Woodenville. So that darker color must come from the red wine barrels, not from the... Uh, extra time in the barrel. Number three was of course the Amador. I knew that was the Amador purely because of the... It's cookie dough, I swear. Uh, number two, which was my third bat favorite, was the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. So I just mixed up the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel and the, and, and the Woodenville. And number four was the Angel's Envy, which was still good, it was just not as good as these three. For me, it was like, these are amazing and this is really good. So, I can't believe I mixed those two up. I'm very surprised by this. I thought for sure the darker color had to come from the toasted barrel, but I guess the darker color just came from the port barrels. So, well, I bought this bottle on Flavier. Um, this is not sponsored. In fact, I'm not even sure if I'm a fan of Flavier yet. Uh, but I, I went on there looking for this bottle in specific uh, because it's not available in my area. But uh, they had it and it was about $5 more than retail. And I figured by the time I pay for shipping and the $5 over retail, it's going to be about $15 more than retail. And I'm willing to pay that for a bottle that's not even available in my area. But when I put it in checkout, I got a free membership for buying the bottle. Um, and so I should be getting a tasting box soon, and when I do, I should be able to post a review of that. Um, but uh, I basically got it for $5 more than retail, delivered to my house, and I cannot get it in my area. I even tried, uh, and I have some family in Texas, and I tried there too, and it's not one I can get there. Uh, it's not that it's allocated or not available, it's just not available, unfortunately. But uh, Woodenville, 
sport finish. Highly, highly recommend. That was our winner today. That is the best finished whiskey that I own. <laughs> um, you know, there might be some better finished bourbons out there, um, but these four are ones that I, I keep coming back to. Um, before I before they rebranded the Amador, I bought this one fairly regularly. It was just called Double Barrel and it didn't have the mash bill on there and it wasn't a weeder, but now that they've made it a weeder, it's even better. Angel's Envy is one I've been, uh, it was one of my first reviews I posted on the channel. I tried it about a year ago for the first time and I've been in love with it ever since. And then the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel. I've been talking about this a lot lately. I love this bottle. Um, but those are my four choices that I went to for, for this blind. And I'm not surprised, to be honest, that the Woodenville won. Because if you've never tried Woodenville whiskey, they make excellent bourbon. Well, thank you very much for watching. This was really fun. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.